I was lucky enough to finish up one of the best camps we ever had here in St. Pete for Swing Makeover. And balancing rotation, hand path, and snap, as you see Brett do there, was one of the keys we worked on. If you look at um, Jason Branch, wide and stride and show the hips and body open, landing on that front leg to transfer the weight. And as you do that, you bring the hands back to separate the hands from the front foot. And watch how the hand path always go to, goes down knob first and then the hand path to the point of impact. That's one of the keys you see in a pro swing. Now look at the rotation. Once that front foot's down, the swing converts to a, almost entirely a tight rotation. Keeps you from lunging. And then finally, what we want to emphasize is let the ball drop to a zone in front of you and have a swing path that's much more level than the ball. It's, it's you know matching up to the path of the ball. It gives you a cutting swing, post-style cutting swing. So we had five campers here. The first one was Fabian. And look at how everything looks pretty good except for the swing path. The knob doesn't come up to the where the ball is going to be. It dives down and there's a clubbing motion over the top. Just not very good. His wife, Christina, what she got into is a rollover right away. See how the wrists roll over early? She's letting the ball come in and she's not really swinging up, but she rolls over and it doesn't give her a very good X snap style of point of impact. Watch Chris Knob comes down, comes back up, had a real loopy golf swing. He just had two new knees six month, months ago, and that wasn't the problem, though. The problem was just technically here. Everything's a golfing under snap. Knob not going to the ball, not getting an X snap. Cho had a real inside out swing. Watch his knob position down, it comes way up, and he doesn't drive it. What he does is when he gets to the point of impact, his forward motion in the drive and extension, knob comes up, stops but then there's a flex in the wrist sideways. And he's uh, he had a real baseball inside out swing, goes backside a lot, but watch how much power he loses right here where the, there's no forward motion, he actually torques the left hand back against it. Bob had a real, is a real strong guy, six years old, had a nice stride and a good base rotation, but watch how his arms are jammed, the knob comes up, and it's a real jam swing getting into the rollover early too. So we had a lot of problems and issues as we started out working these campers and I talked to him with a brief lecture. But talking again about body angle, shoulder angle, a lot of you are getting into yesterday, the first day, into here. And all of a sudden we want, number one is our hip rotation and upper body torque are what's going to lead, lead our hands and lead the swing. We're going to give us a good throw in motion, okay? Everybody understands that. You know, the hips are rotating open, gives us a good throw in motion. What do we do with that throw in motion? We're connected to our hands. We take our hand path where? Down the ball. To the point of impact. Yeah. You can't see the ball because we might yeah, be taking yeah, it up yeah, there, yeah. but where the ball's yeah, going to be, we yeah. want to let the ball drop in. So if I have a ball that drops down here and I have a huge drop of the back shoulder, immediately my hands are in this position here and there's a tendency to want to swing up and go like that. That's what we saw a lot of yesterday. My hands are back here. We want to go from point A as I rotate to point B. There's the knob. The knob's going right to where the ball's going to drop to. And as soon as the knob veers off, like Chris with you yesterday and everybody to a degree, you come up like this. Swing's totally gone. All I can do is golf snap it here. There's no power. There's, it's uh, you know harder to make good consistency. It's an inside-out baseball swing. Where we get the power from is if we can take, you know, as we rotate, and watch how, how fast. Bam, I'm right there. That's probably a 30th of a second. I have to be triggering the snap triggering the snap of the wrist right there, okay? You flow from getting the hand started in the right direction off that upper body and hip torque, getting the hand started in the right direction and then flowing right into a snap. We've got to get the knob started towards the ball, but almost immediately then we flow into the snap, okay? And that's all done within probably a 30th of a second. So, first part of the swing again is we, you know, first part of the swing is going to be getting our hands back, relaxed stance, taking a nice little bit of a wind, hands come back connected, we want to finish up in this position right here. Don't want the knob down because I can see in a few years, Chris, knob's down, then all of a sudden there's a, an overcorrection bringing it back up. It makes it a loopy swing. Like when you're on the rope, you're on the rope, you're here, and then your hand's finished up like this. Just figure right here, if you have the bat pedal on the ground, the knob's going to give us a, a good flashlight view. When it come around here, point A, boom, to point B. And that involves rotating and bringing the knob towards the strike point, letting the ball drop in, and then immediately getting into that X snap, okay? This doesn't supply the power, but it has to guide, 100% has to guide the power. If it doesn't guide the power, 
you know, all that power from your right side won't flow through. Does that make sense at all? So today we're going to start out, we're going to get more, much more level with the shoulders, okay? And then we're going to put more of our focus, or almost all of our focus, everybody's going to be a little bit different on, really once we start rotating and feeling that shoulder torque and body torque take over from the hips, we want to make sure that our knob goes towards the point of impact. Arm finish means that you've done a lot of things right, like here. Ba, and then boom, right here. Then the arm stays straight, and then rotate all the way around, okay? It's a throw in motion, but there's also this... You know, it's a throw-in motion, but it's a, throw, a backhand throw motion like a frisbee. We throw the frisbee like this, but this motion is just different. We're throwing it like that, so it's a karate chop. So karate chop drills are great. That's what we do a lot of today. You know, wind, step a little bit, start to throw, karate chop. Karate chop to where the ball is. Karate chop. The karate chop will start your knob towards it, right? And then right away, as soon as the karate chop starts, boom, X snap sideways. And you'll end up like this, boom. Everybody do that once. You know, turn, turn your body open and karate chop. So, so torque the upper body open and boom, back snap. Simulate hanging onto the bat. But, but right here, you, 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 when you get here, when you get here, you should be totally flexed sideways because gotcha. you're bringing the you're bringing the bat. There you go. See the difference? Good. Yeah. All right. So my balls, the balls right here. That's the spot where I want to make the impact. Right here, I, I rotate, look at that. That's all, that's all it is, that's probably a twentieth of a second is all. But that's how, that's how you get started on that track. And once I get to this position here, what do I have to flow into? X-snap. The X-snap, and so I have to flow right to the X-snap right there. That's how critical it is, that's why maybe you pull up, maybe you're thinking pull up and then snap. It's gotta be done, you gotta think about snap and rotation snap in one instant because it's over in a thirtieth or the fortieth of a second. It's crazy how fast it is. Yeah, that's too far, right here. It, it, watch. Well, are you telling me? Everybody watch me. Tell me if I'm doing it right. I want to rotate. Tell me if I'm doing it right. Yeah, that was right. Okay. Right. But balls. See the point of contact's out ahead too far. I want to. I want to catch it when I go. I want to catch it from about here, about the halfway point. So, you know, that's still too far out in front. That's why it's so critical on the tee, right here. Boom. That's better. Okay. See that? I'm going from right here. There's the halfway point of the snap. I can come through X, palm up, palm down, and then I'll roll over. I'm gonna follow through with the rotation. Okay? That's how. That's where you have to really set the point of contact. And um, so again, watch here. That's all the farther I go before I start my snap. So it's really snap. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So, I mean, you can think, if you're thinking about it too long of the terms, that's part of the problem we've got. As I rotate, this is, right here, that's probably a 40th of a second. And then from here to here is probably another 30th of a second, something like that. And then, and this, so I'm, I'm pull snapping in, but it's also a throwing motion because I'm getting a little bit of extension. Because you keep doing this. How am I going to hit something, you know? That's the greatest visual you get. Boom! Rotate, boom! Rotate, boom! Rotate, boom. I didn't mean to do that. That's why I'm that's why trying I to waver. But hey, that's actually, that's actually a good drill, isn't it? <laughs> he got carried away. Wrist through that snap with the, with the hammer. So I was just, I wasn't completing it. And you were kind of rolling over a little yeah, bit too, I, right? Yeah, instead, so I just do that and roll over instead of snap it. And how about you, Bob? Uh, I just can't believe that the snap and the pull happens simultaneously like to the ball. You know, that's yeah. the, that's the part I, I never did understand, but now it feels great. Guys like Greg Cannell, who's a great young pro, will say uh, hips and wrists snap together at the same time. Mm -hmm. And that's you know that's what a guy has to understand. How about you? Yeah, no, I mean it's that's like a lot to digest, but yeah, I just uh I think before I was trying to hit the ball out there and the snap and everything happens so much sooner and you want to hit it, the ball get back farther almost, you know? I don't that. The one thing is when you start this, you got to be back connected, right? Your yeah, lead yeah. arm's got to be yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you don't, your rotation isn't going to, your upper body torque won't pull it. It's a pull, it's it's a pull initially, but it's yeah. a, a pull, it's also a little bit of a throw. Right. It's like a piece, it's like a, like water coming off a, a spinning wheel, you know, it kind of flings itself off, off but 
you absolutely have to have a lot of rotation. Make sure your body's rotating though when you do that, Chris. Not a big fan of this selection, but using these drills here after the lecture, you have to get the point across. We had the hit into the into the bag drill, the swing simulator, the frisbee throw. All these develop explosiveness. Listen to the clicker stick here. You can really hear it click. This is made by the GT company, and it really allows you to hear what it sounds like when you explode and the centrifugal four forces that plunger to the other end. Gives real nice feedback on the click. The brace leg drill is awesome because it gets your stride out of the way, it forces you to get upper body torque and hand path to the ball. Watch how clean everybody picked it off. Then we go to the low ball on the tee. And typically we wouldn't be fans of swinging the pitches that low, but forces everybody to take the hand path, rotate, take the hand path, and um, flow right into the X snap. Again, as we mentioned before, that's going to be done simultaneously. Uh, the initial movement towards the ball and the snap are done in one motion. So you saw a loopy the swings are. These are the afters. Look at Bob. Just a tremendous uh, level pro style cutting swing. Now never came up. Great rotation. Go to Chris. He just did a tremendous job. Reached 80 miles an hour. Had a lot of power. They used to play him in at 200 feet and even at 150 pounds he developed a lot of power. Cho has an inside out swing but he developed a lot of power. Hit his first home run ever in our simulated game which I have footage of here afterwards. Christina did a great job of really driving the ball and hitting low pitches, eliminating that uh, roll. And of course uh, Fabian, not only did he hit a bunch of bombs, but look how he leveled that swing off in that chop. Here's some footage from some of the live hitting and also from the simulated game where the guys went back to back to back, Cho hitting his first, Bob his second, and Fabian hitting one of his many. Good ball, there you go. Good ball. 57 miles per hour. Nice ball. 49 miles per hour. Really get that upper body to torque. That's a good bye. There you go. 87 miles per hour. Hey, 77 miles per hour. Good ball. 76 miles per hour. Woo! Really try to keep that front shoulder down a little bit. Lead on, crying. Woo! 85 miles per hour. Woo! Look at that, eh? 71 miles per hour. For 110 pounds, I'll tell you what, that is some power. <laughs> Oh! 82 miles per hour. Oh, nice. 70 miles per hour. That's a game pitch. That's not that ball. Beautiful. 70 miles per hour. 79 miles per hour. 78 miles per hour. 75 miles per hour. 88 miles per hour. Oh, look at that. miles per hour. Look at that, Dave. Look at that, about 370. 85 miles per hour. There's one. Nice ball. 70 miles per hour. Look at that, Dave. Seventy-eight miles per hour. Seventy-eight miles per hour. Sixty-five miles per hour. Whatever you want. Bobby, nice. Good nice shot. shot. Oh, oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. Look at that. Woo. Nice one. Nice. That's out. Nice. That's out. Oh. Oh. That's over. Just to show off. Another Tuesday. Yeah. 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 Wow. That was some explosion. Wow. Yeah. Like Good for you. Right yeah. Nice rip. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I think you can like, 
Very nice. This one hard. Right? <laughs> 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 That's not it! Back to back to back! 